everyone, and welcome to a Time Shifters podcast, Time Hop Edition. This is Christopher. Tom, how are you tonight? I am well, sir. How are you? Doing well. Doing well. Happy to get another time hop in. These are always a lot of fun. They are. Today, we are talking about 2022's Fall of Usher. It was written and directed by Brian Cunningham, and it is based on the works of Edgar Allan Poe. Let me call myself for the moment, William. I'm a storyteller by nature and a liar in my freer times. No part of what I convey is true, but every part is truthful. You will come to despise me. Your revulsion will be rightly warranted, I swear it. Now, however, by way of staying execution and mitigating these accusations against me, I offer this sad history. William is caring for his terminally ill father and falls in love with the home visit nurse, Anna. When Anna mysteriously stops coming and sends a different nurse in her place, William plunges into a deep depression and murders his ailing father. Reuniting with Anna doesn't help his depression, nor does his controlling brother Wilson, who has his own eyes set on Anna. William spirals into madness, leading to darkness and despair and more murder. Or does it? Now, this is an independent film. Uh, Brian Cunningham is actually someone that I, that I I know. I've met several times. I've interviewed him uh, and talked to him about a couple of his films. Uh, he did a documentary called Monsters Wanted, which was all about a uh, scream park down in Louisville, Kentucky. Oh, cool. And it was a fantastic documentary. Really enjoyed that. Uh, he's done several other films since then. You know, um, I've liked some more than others. One that I really enjoyed called uh, Loss Prevention, which was sort of a, an action comedy. I got a big kick out of that one. Wretch was interesting, but not for everyone kind of thing. And I'm trying to remember if I ever got around to seeing Overtime. I don't think I did. It's one I've been meaning to catch, and I have not. So anyway, The Fall of Usher. <sighs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. There are a lot of things I liked about this film. Should we start with maybe some of the things I or we liked? Sure, yeah. All right. Uh, things that I liked. The fact that it was set in the present day. Yeah. Uh, being a film that, 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 that boasts that it's being based on the works of Poe, mm-hmm. I was expecting something in a kind of Victorian Gothic setting. And I was worried how well they would be able to pull that off in Louisville, Kentucky. <laughs> so I was really happy to see that Cunningham didn't even try. Uh, I actually thought these sort of flowery Victorian-style monologues by William, I didn't like those at first. But in the end, I kind of thought they worked really well in the context and the theme of the film. Okay. You break, break in with any comments on any of this No, stuff. no, no, I know. I'm, not, I, I, I'm letting you get through your thoughts because... Uh... I'm torn on this one. Okay, well, I'll finish the things I liked here then. Maybe and yeah. you can jump in and you can comment on anything I've said. Um, I enjoyed the nods to Poe's work. Uh, yes. I'm not a Edgar Allan Poe expert, but obvious elements of Telltale Heart and Cask of Amontillado and Eleonora were worked in. Yeah. And there may be others as well that I'm I'm just not as familiar with the works. But those are definitely the, some of the more well-known ones and made real obvious. And uh, some of the cast. I thought Savannah Schaefer is Anna and Spencer, uh, Spencer Quirks as the brother Wilson I thought were fine. And that actually leads me into like some of the stuff I didn't care about. So I'm curious if you have any comments on anything I said and if, you, if there was anything that you liked that you want to bring up. If I look at it as a whole, it is a very interesting walk through one man's psyche and and if you really look hard at it it is really a story of love and loss and i don't 